We're making strides and learning a lot in our boat restoration project. And this week, we're under the gun to finish what we started with our electrical installation. And then we're moving on to plumbing. This is Luke, and I'm Lori, and we're working on building the boat of our dreams, and we're bringing you alongside for the ride of a lifetime, thanks to our Patreons and viewers like you. And if you're curious to see if we're able to finish what we started, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. So we got a lot of advice about having either extra conduit, extra wire, or larger conduit, just in case in the future we're gonna pass more wires. Um, so that's what we're doing right now while we're doing our configuration is we're putting larger conduits where we can, um, just in case, right? And I think that was really solid and really good advice. Um, and we're doing it right now, passing one from, from port side to starboard, just a little bit larger. We have a lot of things going in um, in the machine room, which is under the cockpit. So we're going to push this larger to this larger conduit in order to get more wires back there in the future. Remember we were using these colorful papers to mark our lights, outlets, and switches? Well, we're going to put them back now because we're realizing that we're going to put the wires there, but we want Mobile Mar to know exactly what we're putting in it every location so they can come in and when they do the, the design, when they measure everything out and they put it into the computer, they're going to know where we're going to actually put our lighting and, and all of our switches and everything. So let's put that back on. So as you see, we already have the ones that we put up for our lights in the main cabin. We have our kitchen lights, we have one over their navigation desk, and we have one in the bathroom. So that's already good to go. Let's put the rest up. So we're here in the V-Birth, and in the birth itself, we're going to actually have a light, our LED lights. We're going to have a LED strip going down this side, and we're going to have a plug. So all the fun stuff go here. Same thing on the other side. Our lead strip, our plug, and our light. Okay. We also have a light in the main area of the V-Birth. We're gonna put a light in our little closet area so we can see. Also in the V-Birth, we're gonna have one of those LED lights, those cool LED strip ones going around the floor so we can see. We're gonna have a little light because we want drawers here, we're thinking. Let's see if it can happen so we can see into the drawers. We also want a light in the back where it's gonna have some storage area. We're gonna see if we can put that. We'll talk to Mobile Lamar and see if that's possible. 
Let's keep going. In our house, we actually have one of those mini washing machines that is perfect to install here. It actually does fit. It's one of those Electrolux, the little tiny ones. So we're gonna need a plug here. And we're gonna put an extra plug here for, say, if we wanna use an iron or something and be presentable for the world. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so we're gonna have a lead strip be here and also at the base of our seating area. Also on the other side, we already have our marker here. <laughs> we already have our marker here. This is gonna be a lead light and then also on the base down here. So we might have to cut here. Here in the bilge, we're gonna have two pumps that are gonna run automatically to take out any water uh, in case of emergency or just generally if the water gets into the boat. So here is gonna be our galley kitchen area, we think. We haven't seen the final design, but this is work we're leaning towards right now. And so we're going to want a bunch of plugs for appliances. Not that we're going to run everything at the same time, but you never know. Also, here in the kitchen, we're going to have the fridge and freezer somewhere. So let's put a couple plugs available for them. So we think our water maker is going to fit around this area behind like, the seating area. So let's put a way to power it and outlet there as well. Also behind the bathroom in the machine room, we're going to have a boiler. So let's power that. We're going to have our sewage treatment. We're going to have a lot to talk about that later. And we're also going to have toilet. toilet needs power, right? It's funny how you think about power in the toilet. We're gonna need a guide because it's all been weird, so let's get our guide going. Actually slide on 
to our little wires simply and we put them in combination with another one so hopefully we can easily and quickly identify at least where the problem is and then we can look to our little identifier which I won't keep on on cardboard we'll write this somewhere online and also printed versions so we can easily figure out if we need to fix something where the problem is located where the navigation desk is. So we're kind of piling this up, knowing that normally the wood would be probably level with the, the frame. But here, it doesn't matter because it's not going to be seen. If the desk is above here, we're trying to get it so at least this is closed. And then maybe on the top, we would look down and actually see all of this highway of conduits merging right here. And this is really nice because almost everything is in a conduit. We have nothing really loose. I think maybe one or two areas we're gonna, like one thin wire we're gonna put just because it's not worth a conduit, but for the most part we got everything in these conduits. So imagine this all nicely organized and covered up with a wood flattened. I just put this piece of cardboard to secure it in for now, just to hold it where it is, but the idea is we wanna visually show Mobile Mar where all of the connections, where any kind of inspection hatches need to be. So they're actually able to plan their wood interior around it. And so that's what we're showing here. So up here is gonna be the control panel, the desk, maybe an opening, and everything else hidden. So you won't be able to see this mess. contact glue because we don't want this to fall off and if the metal sweats for any reason perhaps that little tape is not going to stick very well so we're going to apply the contact glue he's going to put it in all the places that we think I need to be able to apply all of these onto the wall and then we're going to wait 30 minutes more or less for it to cure and to be solid before we can even touch it to move put on our tubes we're going to let it sit a little bit longer just in case maybe overnight because we don't want to mess with it and do the job twice. So the longer that we let it sit, perhaps it'll be even stronger when we actually put it on because we are going to be having our wires and our tubes and our plumbing and everything pulling on it and so we don't want it to fall off. We're testing these out right now. We glued a bunch of them on to see if they would actually hold with using contact glue. We let them sit overnight just in case and now we're going to try it. It's really nice they follow their way all the way up the frames. So this black conduit is really important because it goes to our mast. As you can see, we already have this through hole through the superstructure coming down and it's gonna go through this conduit all the way down and it's gonna go all the way to the navigation desk. So this is the, the tricky part is because these are really, really fat wires. And the worst part is, is the ends, those little connectors, they can have like plastic pieces. So we do know that it fits through this hole. And so it, in theory, will th fit through this, but it's not going to be easy. And unfortunately, we don't have a really bigger tube to be able to pass through here to there. So this conduit is very full. 
This one is passing all of our lighting and our switches forward and that's going to be very full as well. This is for our winch. It's going to have really thick wires for the winch and also our navigation lights. So right now we don't have really extra going back to, oh, sorry, going forward in the bow. <laughs> After forward. So this is pretty full. We don't really foresee having too many things in the bow, but we definitely want to have more uh, conduits ready to go to our machine room. And you guys had a lot of comments about this. Always have extra, extra, extra space just in case we want to add stuff, especially new technology. You guys are right. Like new stuff is coming out all the time. So we got to be ready to be able to add new uh, wiring if needed. So we do have this one inch conduit. And what we're going to do is this is supposed to be the bathroom area. So because all this back wall is going to be really closed, it's going to have plumbing, it's going to have like a closet or like a cabinet area and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take, I'm going to take a smaller one for this demonstration, but we're going to take this and just push it all the way back, even though it's like forward, because there's not going to be wood all the way to the back of this. So. We're gonna put this here, we're gonna talk with Mobile Mar as well, how they want us to do that. Maybe they wanna put the wood down and then we put it on top, also a possibility. But we're just gonna uh, zip tie it here for now, going all the way to the stern, and we're gonna have two of these conduits for future use because we know we're gonna have lots of stuff. We already have a one inch conduit going back there, and we have, yeah, that's it. We just have one one inch conduit and that is not gonna be enough because that's already full with um, like our boiler, our sewage treatment thing and a lot of other stuff. So we're gonna put two empty conduits on top um, and hopefully that's enough. We could always put another and those are gonna be ready to be used for whatever we need in the back. Obviously we're gonna have solar panel, we're gonna have a lot of stuff that we're gonna have to control and that's gonna go to our navigation desk here in this mess. So working on it now, adding, Luke actually went to get more conduit so we can add some more and get some like separate for lighting. The great part about it is, is really Mobile Mars said, put it where we need it and we're gonna build the wood around it. So that's what we're doing. So we're trying to keep the conduit near where there's um, like bulkheads, walls, so they can probably build into it or around it. And so nothing really is intrusive at this point in time. And we're super happy that we are able to be using all of this conduit because we can already see passing wire is really difficult. Even though it's in conduit, it's still really challenging to get it from place to place. Imagine if you were just like wiring one single wire, that wouldn't be fun at all. So um, we're really happy that we're setting ourselves up for something really usable in the future and we hope that we have enough conduit. Um, we any time that we have had the option and the ability to use a lar the larger conduit versus a smaller one, and I mean one three fourths by one inch to versus one inch, we've been using the larger one. So there is some extra space, and we hope that it's going to be enough. Let's see. This is kind of unnecessary, but it's getting really disorganized. So I wanted something where we could see better. Mm -hmm. So I'm replacing this cardboard with a piece of wood. There is so much to do and we are just 
against the clock. We still have to paint the floor because we did all of the sides, we didn't do the floor, we haven't finished the cockpit. We have to put insulation on the ceiling and we have to put insulation on all of these sides still. We are starting on the plumbing and we are finishing up the electrical. So it is a race right now because Mobile Mar is gonna come in here soon. So let's get to it.